Um, I think the bearings are a little bit bad. If you can, if you can hear that, there's, they're they're not grinding, but they're they're definitely not smooth. So I'm going to replace the bearings in this motor. Uh, one reason why I think so when I was unwiring it from the, the the base, the cabinet of the saw, when I was undoing the electrical, I took this off, and this was caked with um, sawdust, and there's holes in here, and then obviously sawdust had to be getting inside the motor as well so I think when I'm putting it back together I'm gonna try to put some sort of gasket on here to help better protect the the motor from uh, future wear and tear from sawdust getting in there so the previous owner probably put some miles on this but I don't think um, the bearings usually in the arbor go out before the motor and the arbor bearings are fine so anyway I'm gonna take this part and uh, take a look at the bearings. I cannot find any schematics or markings in or any uh, information in the parts list size bearings I need so I'm gonna have to just take it apart and look at them and uh, so I'm just doing that right now. So I used a, a three millimeter Allen wrench to undo the set screws out of this and oh, it looks pretty oh, good. Yeah it's nice and smooth. Get off the pulleys. There's three pulleys or there's three belts on this pulley that go up to the arbor for the saw. That came off pretty easily actually. And there's a key. I'm gonna take this cover off. I think I can get to I think I can get to the bolts. And this should come off now. There's a little bit of dust built up there. All right, so this is kind of interesting. This is a plastic, uh, so in 96 apparently, they're still using pla or starting to use plastic already. Okay, that's a, it's like a 5 nut. That slides off nice and easy. I'm gonna try to take this apart and see if the the rotor pulls out here so we can get at the bearings of the rest of it. So anyway, it looks like uh, it's another the five sixteenths here is the size. I'm gonna make a marking on here just to show where it goes. Let me get a permanent marker and I'm gonna draw like three lines here, three lines here, actually four lines there to differentiate. And that way I can uh, line it all back up when I put it together. It's almost coming off of that. We're almost there. there Alright. So that's interesting. The bearing, this bearing, is right there and it usually sits in this in this particular uh, the housing, the end housing. So let's uh, clean it off here real quick. All 
Now this one doesn't this one doesn't really appear to be making a ton of noise. So I think it's the one on the other side actually that's uh, causing all the grief. Looks like it will move for us. There it came. That one was a lot easier. Now let's, uh, ooh, okay, so it does look like there is a wire that's attached to one of the field coils in here that comes up to this whole switch. So, in order... Alright, so I drew around here with a little sharpie. I'm going to try to remove this. Oh, gosh. Okay, that was not hard at all. So, kind of have a marking here where this goes. need to remember the rest of this configuration here. There seems to be like a little, if you can see it, this kind of like a spring of sorts. So, don't know if that needs to, is the one where the blue one goes, I'm just going to write blue on here. Blue. Okay. And then white on this one. W down there. That way I keep straight. So let me back these off. Okay. Just leave that attached for now. off. Okay. Now with the wires off, I should be able to slide out the whole unit here. Okay, there we go. Okay. So. So it looks like these are the two screws that hold that on. So we're gonna take that off. Yep, and it comes right off. So that was easy. So, kind of like a little points in a car, you can see this makes contact right there. Let's see if you can see that. It's like an old car of points, kind of interesting. Okay. And, alright, so at this point we do need to remove the shaft. So, I'm kind of wondering if a dead blow will just get us where we need to go. So is that moving at all? Not really. So I was just holding it with my legs, and that was able to free it up. So, all right. So we need to actually remove the bearing out of this housing. And I don't know if I see the... Oh, yes, this one does have a number on it. It's an NTN bearing 6203Z, it looks like. This particular bearing right here is a 6205Z. Sixty-two-zero-five Z Taiwan NTN is the brand. Okay, that should be about right. up here
That's acceptable. I don't really, really like doing that. And I think we need to get it probably below the surface, honestly. And I don't mind beating on the old bearing, so I think that would be the best thing to do. I think it's probably seated now. Probably not what you're supposed to do, right? But it, it's in there. Feels smooth. Hopefully it's flush. It looks pretty flush. Okay, that's half of it. That's where it was made. It looks like a nice bearing. This one, um, Interestingly enough, 6205Z is what matches, but it's a double, you know, it's a double shielded one on each side as well. Let's get some clamps on either side of this. Snug. This is probably not the right way of doing it. We're going to give it a shot. seems to be problematic. Now this one just slid off before. So and it slid right on. So that's good. Now is that seated all the way? I think it is actually. Yeah. So those aren't tight fits. This is funny, I had this block already pre-drilled and with these holes for something else and so it's working out really well with this. Um, so, now we're here. This looks good, that bearing's due. We have it marked with blue and white wires, so that's good. We know roughly where it should go. I cleaned out the inside of this, wiped it all down, blew it out. So we should be good there. No more dust in there, hopefully keep the heat down. I guess that's probably important with these motors. All right, so here's what I came up for with just try to seal the dust from getting in here in the future. And I just uh, had some old uh, rubber or foam insulation, which I had to cut down a little bit, but I think it'll work. So I'm just putting it on the inside lip of this cover plate for electrical box it smashes really good so I'm not really worried about that just want something in there just to kind of seal up the gap okay so that should do it pretty good let's see let's just see how this does oh yeah yeah I can feel that this is gonna be snug and 
not let any dust in there. That's going to be much better. Oh, gosh. your hand. It's hard to even get it out. Uh, don't don't try to pull it out because it'll drop. There it goes. Hopefully that helps. Uh, you know, it's probably not the most informative video, but uh, the main takeaway is, you know, if you saw me tear into that motor, uh, you know, I hadn't done it before. Maybe it'll give you the confidence to replace bearings in your own motor. So, um, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.